Welcome to our lecture online and now for the cotangent of theta. Now remember what the sine of theta, theta was. The sine of theta was defined as the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. What do you think the cotangent of theta will be defined as? Well, here again is the unit circle. Unit circle means that the radius is 1. If we have any point in the unit circle, we know that point will have an xy value. The y value is equal to the distance from the x-axis to the point. The x value will be the distance from the y axis to the point, right there. And if we then take this very same triangle, draw it over here, we notice that this is the hypotenuse. There's the opposite side to the angle theta, and there's the adjacent side of the angle theta, because the adjacent side is adjacent to the angle, and the opposite side is opposite to the angle. And you probably already guessed the definition of the cotangent of theta is equal to the reverse of the tangent, it's equal to the adjacent side. divided by the opposite side. So it's exactly in reverse for the, uh, compared to the tangent of theta. The adjacent side can be defined as x, opposite side defined as y, and since x is equal to the cosine of theta, and the y is equal to the sine of theta, you can see that the cotangent of theta is the ratio of the cosine of theta divided by the sine of theta. And since that's the inverse of the tangent, you can say this is equal to one over the tangent of theta. It's simply the inverse of the tangent of theta. Now, if these are the values for the sine of theta when the angles go from 0 to 90 degrees, and the values of the cosine of theta when the angles go from 0 to 90 degrees, what is the cotangent of theta equal to? Well, let's see here. The cotangent of 0 degrees is equal to the ratio of the cosine of 0 divided by the sine of 0, so it would be the cosine of 0 degrees divided by the sine of 0 degrees, which is 1 divided by 0, and of course whenever you divide by 0 you get infinity, which is undefined. What about the cotangent of 30 degrees? So the cotangent of 30 degrees is equal to the cosine of 30 degrees divided by the sine of 30 degrees, which is equal to the square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half, which is equal to the square root of 3. And I think you're beginning to see a pattern if you remember seeing the previous video where we talked about the tangent of theta. You can see that those numbers are exactly in reverse, the inverse, which is what you would expect based upon that. So the cotangent of 45 degrees is equal to the cosine of 45 degrees divided by the sine of 45 degrees, which is equal to, well, remember, at 45 degrees, the sine and the cosine are equal to each other, so that is equal to the square root of 2 over 2 divided by the square root of 2 over 2, which is 1. How about 60 degrees? Well, the cotangent of 60 degrees, which is equal to the cosine of 60 degrees divided by the sine of 60 degrees, which is equal to, that would be 1 half divided by the square root of 3 over 2, which is equal to 1 over the square root of 3. And finally, when we do it for 90 degrees, the cotangent of 90 degrees, which is equal to the cosine of 90, which is 0, divided by the sine of 90, which is 1, so that's simply 0. So you can see, therefore, that the cotangent is exactly the inverse of the tangent, and it's simply the ratio of the adjacent side to the opposite side, and notice, as the angle gets bigger, the adjacent side gets smaller, so the cotangent should get smaller for bigger angles, and as the angle gets smaller, x gets bigger, y gets smaller, so the ratio becomes bigger, so for small angles the cotangent will become larger. So hopefully that gives you a good feeling for what the cotangent of theta really means.